Okay, everybody, good morning. Um, I want to put this light on. Um, I was waiting to see who was going to be the first to put something out this morning, and uh, no surprise at all, it was Vlad. Um, what he put out was extremely disturbing after what happened yesterday. There is no attrition, there is no anything from these people. Um, I'm going to put what, what he put out this morning in the description so you can hear what he says. The thing that was most disturbing to me was he said Jesus did not die on the cross because he loved people. He said he, he, he was just like you and I. He didn't love people. He loved God. Um, I don't know where this guy is, is at. I don't, I don't know what he's thinking about. Uh, he was fully, Jesus was fully human in the fact that he had all human emotions, had all experiences of the human form that he can experience life the way that we experience life on this planet. But he in fact was God. He absolutely loved people. He absolutely loved people. This in fact was his commandment that we love each other as we love ourselves. He also says when you're when you're filled with the Holy Spirit, you're free of opinions. Saying that he and uh, all of his pastor buddies are filled with the Holy Spirit, so they don't care about people's opinions, um, which is his biggest downfall. Because not only doesn't he care about other people's opinions, he doesn't care about God's opinion either. They are not filled with the Holy Spirit. You will also hear. Uh, him tell a story of how he was treated in high school. You will notice with Vlad, he keeps repeating the, the fact that he is not handsome. He knows he's not handsome. And he's telling the story that he is not handsome and how he got bullied in school. This is one of the reasons severe abuse is, is a, a way to create a narc. Um, he tells a story about one of the one of the jocks from high school who used to abuse him and throw paper balls at him or something. Um, came to rent one of the houses that Vlad owned, and he had such great joy and immense pleasure at denying this guy the right to rent his house and stating about what kind of junk car the guy had. The guy was fat now. Vlad had a, a brand new car or a new car, expensive car, and he said that was only one of his cars. There's, there's a definite, definite pattern that had developed in this guy. If you will read again what I posted for you yesterday uh, from Psych Central, except Vlad goes a step further. You can tell by the disordered thinking that he has. Um, I, I, re I really am in shock about what he said about Jesus. Um, you see what happens. Here's the difference. Daniel is a narc. <clears throat> Daniel got a narcissistic injury because he was shamed by what I said. He cares about what other people think of him. He's got to have this macho, grandiose, alpha male look about him at all times. He's got to be presented to the world as something special that God has so anointed him. Um, he tells the story about when he was caught cheating on his wife that he went in front of his church and told the whole story and he fell on the floor crying and I said to him, it's because you were caught that you were crying. It wasn't because you felt bad about what you did. It was because you were caught that you were crying. So it was narcissistic injury that he looked bad to other people. <clears throat> and it's because he has no self-esteem. Vlad is touching on this in his video this morning. That you should not please people. You should look to serve people. Because when you please people, you're only trying to fill your own personal wounds. Here's the thing. 
that he got screwed up. His, his thinking is so disordered. He says something to the effect, I'm paraphrasing now, you'll hear it when you hear the video, that when you serve people, you don't care about their opinions because God's word stands strong. And uh, even when you're authoritative, um, you don't care about their opinions. And I find this to be extremely, extremely off for a supposed man of God. You see, people who are supposed to be men of God are servants of God. They're not God in and of themselves. That they should stand in an authoritative way anyway. They should absolutely care about the opinions of other people. Because if people don't look to them as being men of God, their churches will close down. The money flow will stop coming in. And God will send them to their knees so that they will repent. His thinking is massively disordered. And I wonder now why Bob Larson has not called his psychological friend to diagnose these people as being narcissists and psychopaths or sociopaths. You see, Vlad doesn't care about other people's opinions. What, what is the difference? The only difference between a psychopath and a sociopath is that a psychopath is born and a sociopath is created. So was he born this way? Or was he created this way by all the bullying that he experienced in his life? Um, only he will know that. Only he will know that. You see, true psychopaths have different, uh, their brains are, are created differently. There's, there's something different, a smaller about their frontal lobe than, than everybody else. So it is a true physiological thing that psychopaths are born psychopaths. Sociopaths are created. And from what he's describing of what he experienced, the bullying that he experienced in school, it appears that he was created. He does not care about what people think. He has no remorse about what he has participated in out here what he has done to me and what is laughable about what he put in his in this video is how he's here to serve people he is supposed to be a representative of Jesus Christ what what how did he represent Jesus Christ by participating in this clique in this gang to single me out and call me a demon and a witch and Saul Vlad was the one who actually took God's word and, and from God's word, verse per verse, he wrote it out on YouTube in a post instead of a video. He made a post on YouTube, wrote out verse for verse. And at the very last one was the verse where it says, you are the one, um, you are the father of lies. This is what he wrote to me. And, um, Every day, a different one of these pastors would come out with an egregious post towards me. This has been going on for a year now. And so now, it's not just Vlad, Isaiah, Mike Signorelli. And you talk about yesterday, when I was reading, why, why did these narcs get uh, narcissistic injury? Is because they, they could be corrected on something. This is what happened to Signorelli when I corrected him by saying the third eye was real and that meditation had helped me stop visual flashbacks. He went into narcissistic injury and that was when they all came out and started attacking me. So now what have they done? Uh, Jenny Weaver has joined in on the, on, on the little gang here. Um, John Ramirez actually went on Isaiah's show and said, you never attack people. 
I've never seen you attack people. And Isaiah went, of course, he's never attacked people. Um, this is not uncommon for victims of narcissistic abuse because the abuse is done covertly. People will never know what is happening. As I told you, I went through this for seven years with that tarot demon. Nobody knew what she was doing. But because I had studied it through the dark night of the soul, I knew exactly what she was doing. It took me seven years to get people to finally see who this demon was. So for Vlad to come out with this video first thing this morning, there's no attrition here. There's no repentance. He doesn't care about people's opinion out here. He is a sociopath. You know, uh, there's a video I posted this morning uh, where uh, this is the guy that the Holy Spirit had led me to. I said, I'm being led to different people and moving away from these demons. And uh, this is the guy that the Holy Spirit had led me to. And that's whose video I posted this morning where he says in there, these people have the spirit of the Antichrist. This is exactly what's happening here. No, they are not filled with the Holy Spirit. They are not doing God's work out here. They are glorifying themselves. It is all about them. This is why they are in a clique. This is how they are able to take turns abusing me, coming out here and abusing me. And that don't let's not forget that prophetess person. She's she joined right in there calling me a witch. Um, Bishop Jakes did, uh, Bishop Jakes just viciously attacked me. And the, the thing that gets me is where is, where is the, the stewardship? Where's the stewardship to the pastors that you are trying to bring up underneath you <coughs> that you would, uh, that you would tell your pastors, your junior pastors to go out on a stage and attack another individual. Where's the stewardship here? Vlad has done the same thing. Vlad has had three of his pastors come out and do this to me. Ricard, Ilya, and um, Everett. Everett boy. Oh, he's a, he's a real narc. Everett is a real narc. He got great joy out of what he was doing. Do you understand? This is a, a huge demonic clique that these people are in. They are not doing the work of God. They are not doing the work of God. And people really need to be warned about them. Now, whether they will take heed, repent to the Lord, and change their ways remains to be seen. As Vlad put this sickening, dysfunctional video out, video out this morning, it appears that he is a lost cause. As I said, the last time he came out and said that he, he thought about some things and it seemed like he was making a change, and I said, it remains to be seen whether this is just talk is this talk like the Christians who say that, that they have accepted Jesus Christ but continue living their sinful lives? I said that, and he has proven that that's exactly what it was. He doesn't care about people's opinions because he believes he has the authority. He's filled with the Holy Spirit. Let me tell you something. The Holy Spirit is all about glorifying Jesus. Nothing that these people are doing are glorifying Jesus. For him to say that Jesus did not love people, that Jesus loved God, this guy is delusional. He's sick. He's sick. I will put his video in the description. There's also a video that I'm going to put in the description by Med Circle. And there is a doctor on here that I used to watch all the time. Her name is Dr. Romani. And um, she is a psychologist and she teaches 
about narcissism and narcissistic abuse. And the title of the video is Narcissist, Psychopath, or Sociopath, How to Spot the Differences. I'm going to put that in the description. You will be able to see very clearly. Daniel is the one who gets embarrassed. He goes into a narcissistic rage at the thought of somebody embarrassing him. The same thing happened with Signorelli. He went into a rage that I corrected him in public. And really, it had nothing to do with him. I was trying to protect the people out here. To tell them the third eye is real and it's very dangerous. And that meditation literally stopped my visual flashbacks. So it was about helping the people here. It wasn't about attacking Signorelli, but that was how he took it. And then that is what started all of these pastors attacking me. And so as you heard last night with Daniel... He has stated that all of these pastors are going to attack me. And all I can tell them is bring it. They've been doing it for a year. And the Lord is here. That's all I can say. All of these people have been fully exposed. Every last one of them. And if they can't see that yet, they are blinder than, than I even imagined. Every last one of these people has been exposed. Now, are they going to finally listen to the Lord and repent? Or are they going to be fully destroyed? That is the only question. Because it's not me doing this. There is no way on this earth that I, as an individual person, could ever go up against all of these narcs and psychopaths. Let's not forget, Nithya Nanda and his goons are still attacking me too. I think probably the most egregious thing that happened yesterday was I informed everybody that the doctors had found a lump under my arm that may be cancerous and that psycho Daniel said that because I went up against him that God was going to kill me. It's probably the most egregious thing that I've ever heard anybody say. There's no way anywhere on heaven or earth that this guy is working for God there's no way there's no way none of those people are working for God anyone who is associating in their group their young guns group they're not working for God they have the spirit of the antichrist in them which is why they are attacking a prophet of God They are callous and cold-hearted, non-repentive. And it's all about them. It's all about them. And they have the audacity to say that they are filled with the Holy Spirit. And yet they are dragging Jesus' name through the mud by their behavior. This is all Antichrist stuff, you guys. <clears throat> this is all Antichrist stuff. Everybody needs to start opening their eyes. Everybody does. I will put the video uh, that Vlad put out this morning. I would also put the video by Med Circle with Dr. Romani speaking about the difference between a narcissist, a psychopath, and a sociopath and how to spot the difference. You all have a blessed day.